Hey everyone. So today I'm going to be explaining the structure of the skin. So I'm going to go over the layers, including what tissue types are found in each layer, and also some of the specialized structures within the skin, as well as the function of some of those specialized structures. So the skin is made up of two layers, the epidermis, which can be either thick or thin. Um, thick skin is found on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet, while thin skin is found everywhere else. And then below the epidermis is the dermis. Now beneath that is a region that's not part of the skin um, called the hypodermis, which is mostly composed of adipose tissue and areolar connective tissue. So the epidermis is made of stratified squamous epithelium. Remember, stratified means having layers. Um, so the layers of the epidermis are the stratum corneum, the stratum lucidum, the stratum granulosum, which on this model is um, indicated by those darker purple dots underneath the stratum lucidum. Underneath the stratum granulosum is the stratum spinosum. And then all the way at the bottom is the stratum basale. So the stratum basale is only one layer of cells thick, and it's the only part of the skin that's undergoing mitosis. Um, but everything between the stratum basale and the stratum granulosum is the stratum spinosum. So in thin skin, you actually only have four layers um, because there's no stratum lucidum and also there's a much thinner stratum corneum. The dermis is composed of two layers. The more superficial layer is the papillary layer, which is composed of areolar connective tissue. And below that is the reticular layer, which is the irregular, dense, fibrous connective tissue. So the papillary layer is called the papillary layer because it contains dermal papillae. Whenever you see the word papilla, um, it means like a little nub. So all of those little nubs are the dermal papillae. And inside them are tactile corpuscles, which allow you to have discriminatory touch. They're what allows you to detect the texture of an object. Um, you have the highest concentration of dermal papillae um, in your hands, which is why it's easier for you to, de to determine the texture of something when you're touching it with your hands as opposed to, you know, touching it with your elbow. In the dermal papilla, or um, in the papillary layer, you also have free nerve endings, which allow you to feel hot, cold, and pain. And you'll also see there's a lot of um, capillary loops within the papillary layer. So it is highly vascularized, unlike the um, epidermis, which doesn't contain any blood supply. So there are a lot more structures within the reticular layer. That's where most glands are found um, in the skin. So there are eccrine sweat glands, which produce a very watery substance. Those are for heat regulation. Um, but then there are also apocrine sweat glands. So those are producing a fatty substance with proteins in it. Um, so there's actually nutrients in there for bacteria to break down. Um, so these are the sweat glands you find in your armpits and your genital region, um, which is why the sweat 
coming from your armpits smells, whereas forehead sweat, nobody has a smelly forehead. I hope not. Um, there's also sebaceous glands, which are often associated with hair follicles. So they're producing an oil which lubricates and protects the hair follicle, as well as lubricating and protecting the skin. And associated with the hair follicles are the erector pili, which are little muscles, and they kind of do two things. Um, they tighten the skin and raise the hair, which is what gives you goosebumps. And also this little tightening contraction sort of milks the sebaceous gland and pushes that oil up towards the surface. As far as receptors go, um, on this model, it's only indicating um, that lamellar corpuscles are found within the hypodermis, but they can also be found in the deeper layers of the dermis. Those lamellar corpuscles are responsible for the sensation of deep touch, so they only receive pressure. Um, they do not allow you to feel if something was hot cold or soft just that there is pressure being applied to the area all right so that's the um fast and easy overview of the anatomy of the skin i hope it was helpful have a good day and have fun learning